Hello everyone, it's Jimmy here at O'Reilly's again and I've got a VW Golf GTI and it's got an engine misfire a little bit shaken and a loss in power. So the engine's got a little bit of a shake there on takeover. And these are some of the codes we've got there. So we're going to change the four spark plugs and we'll change over the coil pack on cylinder one if necessary too. So we're just going to use a 10mm to open the coils here. I'm just going to press these tabs here to pull them back and we can disconnect these cables off of each one. And then we can move that back. And then we've got to take out these secondary bolts underneath that. Four of those. Give them a little twist and pull out. So we're going to put them in order just along the top here. And get all of these out. Now we've got access to the spark plugs down in each cylinder there so we can get these out. Now we can use our socket for spark plugs here. Get that down inside. And we're just going to open these by hand. Once they're loose, I can just turn it by hand. And you don't really want to use power tools on uh, spark plugs. If you use an impact on them, you can uh, crack the ceramic. So now we'll open the second one and then three, four. Now I'm just going to use a magnetic stick to get the spark plugs out. Okay, if we look in cylinder two, it looks nice and dry. Cylinder one, we've got some wet and some wet on the plug here, some oil. So it's got a milder leak from the rocker gasket there. So. Um, it's not a major issue at the minute, but it's, I'm going to tell him to advise him that it needs sort of looking at or doing in the future. So now I've just put the four new spark plugs in, and we're just going to tighten them all up by hand, and then we'll just give them a little nudge up with the ratchet at the end. A couple of turns until it stops, and then just a little inch more. So just in the back of my van here I've got loads of different little spares and luckily enough we've got some they are these are used but yeah I've got a few v different VW ignition coils here so we'll get one of these put on. Obviously if this cures the problem I will give him the choice of uh, getting a brand new one but uh, we'll just get this fitted for now just to make sure it cures the problem before we end up buying any new parts. So we'll just get these pushed in. Now they're all pushed down nice and snug. We'll just give these a little squeeze until you hear them click. So we've got all of the cables tied back in and all of the bolts back down. So we'll come back inside now we're going to clear the faults that we've got. And we're just going to run the car for a few minutes to make sure we haven't got any lights or anything on. Uh, we did have an ESP light up there, but that's now gone. Okay, so it's been running for a while now, and fault codes are gone. You can hear the engine is running smoothly. It hasn't got that shake misfire that it had before. So that's, that, we, that's all good with that. I'm happy that's all sorted. Just to finish it off, um, we're going to finish the video here, but I'm going to now do the, the rear brake pads, the front brake pads, and we're going to change the engine oil and filter. See you in the next video.